Welcome back everyone and our sincere thanks again to Deputy Adriana Ventura joining us from the Brazilian Congress. In many ways, Deputy Ventura's comments is, represent a perfect transition to our final session of today's forum, which is focused on the important linkage between high standards of ethics with economic growth and trade, particularly as it relates to health systems, which form such a large part of economies across the region. It's a pleasure to introduce all of you to Lori Hazer, Senior Vice President and Global Compl uh, Compliance Officer for Teva Pharmaceutical Company, who will in turn introduce Vice Minister Rodrigo Yanez. Lori, it's wonderful to see you, and I turn the floor over to you. Good to see you as well, Andrew. Thank you very much, and good morning to everybody. It is my very great pleasure and an honor to introduce our next speaker, Vice Minister Rodrigo Yanez. He is currently Trade Vice Minister at the Undersecretary of International Economic Relationships in Chile. The Vice Minister has been for a very, very long time a significant champion for compliance. He has strongly advocated for transparency at all levels. He has also worked tirelessly on trade policies, both internationally and domestically. Our colleagues throughout the Latin American region have benefited greatly from his efforts. He, as most of us who are passionate about ethics, compliance, and transparency, uh, believes there is a very significant and positive correlation between ethics, health and well-being, and economic growth and stability. I am really looking forward to what he has to say about this very important convergence. Thank you so much for being here to talk to us about this important topic. So with that, I give you the Vice Minister. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lori. Um, I will speak in Spanish. Uh, so, muchas gracias uh, to you. Thank um, you so much. Thank you, Vice President Senior and Global Chief Compliance for Tiva. Thank you for this introduction. You know, these activities generate economic growth uh, through the region, considering ethics at the center. Primero, eh, quisiera saludar a todos eh, y a todas. First, a I would like to say hello to everyone, to all the government representatives, academia. companies, Gracias. academy, and thank you so much for inviting me to close the first day of the virtual forum for America Health Ethics, organized from Brasilia and with this important announcement for the signature of the Brazilian consensus framework. So the epic dilemmas are always going to be present. And the point is, how do we identify improvement opportunities and how do we contribute to strengthen our codes of ethics to reduce gaps that may cause lack of trust? And finally, I would like to talk about the consensus framework that goes beyond epic. And I hope that in this region, we can contribute and you know want this kind of action. In October 2019, I had the opportunity of inaugurating in Santiago the business ethics. So it's a forum for SMEs, very important. And in Chile, we had the consensus framework for ethical collaboration that was for Mexican cities as well for biopharmas and manufacturers. So Together with everyone who signed, we have led this multi-actor table in Chile, represented by the industry, the academy, the patients, the civil society, and other government organisms to try to strengthen the ethical standards and relationships. This way, these frameworks allow us to create capabilities and to always put the patient in the center of the discussion. As we discussed in today's session, the relationship between all actors on the system ecosystem are going to strengthen the ethical conducts and especially on the circumstances caused by COVID-19. We hadn't seen um, such an important international need for all of us for products that are going to you know, comply with the patient's needs, ethics and integrity in business, and especially the capability that we have to operate in a sustainable way and to participate in this um, commerce that goes beyond borders. It's important to involve all of these ethic 
points, and it's important to strengthen ethics and integrity of business on the health systems for sustainable economic growth. Also, we also approach the integrity in health purchases. And I also had the responsibility together with the health and science ministries in Chile to lead from the commercial proximity, leading the process of buying different vaccines for Chile. And certainly the public sector has a very important role in purchasing products and health services for patients. And what better example than of what we've been living in the last few years with the sanitary crisis, where a part of the state had a very important role, but just like that, the international commerce for the flow of goods to reach all citizens for all countries. In this sense, the purchasing power that the government has may be a good policy to be able to bring all standards and for, for this code of ethics and for companies that want to participate in a government's procurement process. And I would like to talk a little bit about economic and commercial growth because it is relevant. The participation and follow-up for an institution is very important, Before international commerce is really important in terms of being able to control the effects of the on the economy. And here there's no question it was shown that international commerce without an integration system, if we didn't have that today, we wouldn't have medical devices available, especially when we talk about vaccines. And well, today we have the agenda on the commercial international agency. And these are different organizations that are very deliberate. And from their perspective, they need to have con concrete action to make sure to take care of the pandemic's actions and to get tools to start developing a recovery scheme post-COVID in the country. It's focusing on the economy and the region. As commercial responsible, the World Commerce Organization discusses these topics related to health in the Trade and Health Initiative, link started by the Ottawa Group. So we already talked about the waiver as well. So this is for increment in production and also for the distribution of vaccines and global level going through COVAX as well as public agreements and technological transfer in different regions of the world. With this entire schedule, it's really relevant to be able to incorporate the ethic vision of other on other, other visions towards a common goal, putting the patient in the center of the discussion and consequently people as well. We should really thrive, strive to be able to get collaboration with other international organizations, different stakeholders to be able to really face these different challenges. I'm sure that this co-constructive and collaborative process is a constant. Ethics and transparency need an effort for many actions and should be a part of the public agenda as well as the private agenda to be able to go deeper into contacts in relationships, especially on this health ecosystem. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Vice Minister Rodrigo Yanez and Ms. Lori Hayser for your remarks and for your championship in both Chile and across the region to emphasize the direct link between driving sustainable economic growth and trade to high standards of ethical conduct. I personally, uh, Vice Minister Yanez, had the opportunity to attend the launch of the Chilean Consensus Framework for Ethical Collaboration in 2009 and it truly has been impressive to see how Chilean stakeholders have done tremendous work together since that time, including and through the COVID-19 pandemic. In particular, we'd like to thank your colleague Gaston Fernandez on, his, on the team who has been an exceptional leader in that process. So thank you both Vice Minister Yanez as well as Lori uh, for being with us today. This concludes day one of the America's Health Ethics Virtual Forum. We look forward to seeing you all right back here tomorrow for day two, starting at nine o'clock a.m. Brasilia and Buenos Aires, eight o'clock a.m. in New York, Ottawa and Santiago, and seven o'clock a.m. in Mexico City, Bogota and Lima. Tomorrow we will delve even deeper into strategies for all stakeholders to strengthen their work on health ethics. 
We will begin with a special message from the president of the Inter-American Development Bank. You won't want to miss it. Thank you all and see you tomorrow.